Let's take our first caller. Hi, what's your question for our guest? Hello, I'm Sam. I want to know how long it takes to learn English. Hi, Sam. It takes time to learn English. It depends on your dedication and how much time you spend each day. Hey, everybody. How are you today? I hope everything is well. It's me, Jack, and I'm here to teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a video. The conversation is about learning English on a radio broadcast with an English teacher. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is common. Next are to avoid and dedication. We will continue with patience and goal. The final one is progress. Okay, let's watch the video. Hey, hello everybody and welcome to the radio show. Today, we have a very special guest with us, an experienced English teacher, Jack. Welcome to the show, Jack. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here and help your learners with their English learning journey. Great to have you here. Let's start with a question that I have. What are some common mistakes people make when learning English and how can they avoid them? Oh, that's a good question. One common mistake is focusing too much on grammar rules and not enough on speaking. To avoid this, try to practice speaking with native speakers or other learners. Another mistake is being afraid to make mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a natural part of learning. It's important not to worry too much about making mistakes because everyone does it, even native speakers. When you make a mistake, see it as a chance to learn and improve. Don't let the fear of making mistakes hold you back. Thanks for sharing that. Now, let's take our first caller. Hi, what's your question for our guest? Hello, I'm Sam. I want to know how long it takes to learn English. Hi, Sam. It takes time to learn English. It depends on your dedication and how much time you spend each day. But if you practice regularly, you can see improvement in a few months. Great answer. <laughs> Now, I have a question for you. How important is it to have a constant study routine when learning English? Well, having a study routine is very important. It helps you stay excited and learn better. Make a plan with time for speaking, listening, reading and writing. Try to follow it every day. Staying excited about doing a little every day is important. Learning English takes time and hard work. By studying every day, you'll learn faster and remember more. Fun things to do in English, like watching movies or reading books. This makes learning much more fun and helps you stay excited about learning. Remember, learning English takes time and patience. Keep practicing and you'll get better. Stick to your study routine and enjoy learning. Thanks for the advice. Ah. Oh, our next caller is on the line. Hey, what's your question? Hey, I'm Lisa. My question is, how can he improve my pronunciation? Hi, Lisa. Uh, to improve your pronunciation, you can listen to native speakers, practice repeating words and sentences. Use apps and websites that focus on pronunciation. Don't be too shy to speak and record yourself. Then listen and check your progress. That's helpful. Ah. Well, here's another question from me. What's your opinion on learning English through watching movies and TV shows? Watching movies and TV shows is a great way to get better at listening and learning new words. Choose shows and movies that are good for your English level. For beginners, watch children's shows or movies with easily language. As you get better, watch more difficult things. Use subtitles to help you understand better. If you're a beginner, use subtitles in your own language. When you feel better, use English subtitles to practice reading and listening at the same time. Try watching uh, without subtitles to challenge yourself. Be patient and have fun. 
Watching movies and TV shows can make learning English enjoyable. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, we have another caller on now. What's your question? Hi, I'm Jake. I want to learn English slang words. How can I do that? Hello, Jack. Learning slang is fun. You can watch uh, English TV shows, movies, or YouTube channels. Social media is also a good way to to learn slang words. Just remember, slang is informal, so be careful when you use it. Great advice. I have one more question before we take our next caller. How can someone stay motivated while learning English? Staying motivated can be a challenge, but setting realistic goals and tracking your progress can help. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small, and surround yourself with people who support your learning journey. That's a great tip. We have another call already. What's your question? Hello, my name is Anne. Can you tell me how to remember new words and phrases? Hi, Anne. To remember new words, you can use flashcards, create your own vocabulary list, or apps that help you learn and review. Also, try to use new words in your daily life so you can remember them better. Thanks for your question, and we have our last caller now. Go ahead. What's your question? Hi, I'm Mike. I want to know how to practice English with other people. Hello, Mike. You can join a language exchange course or find a conversation partner online. There are also apps that connect learners for language practice. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just keep practicing, and you'll improve. Thank you, Mike, and thanks to all our callers. That's all the time we have for today. A big thank you to our guests for joining us and answering these questions. It was my pleasure. I hope these tips help your listeners improve their English. Good luck, everyone. Thanks again for joining us. We wish all our listeners the best of luck on their English learning journey. What are some common mistakes people make when learning English, and how can they avoid them? Common. It means happening often and to many people or in many places. The examples. It is common for children to be afraid of the dark. Smith is a very common name in Britain. To avoid, it means to stay away from someone or something, or to prevent something bad from happening. The examples: I try to avoid going shopping on Saturdays. It's always so busy. We avoided Park Street because of the traffic. Hi Sam, it takes time to learn English. It depends on your dedication and how much time you spend each day. Dedication. It means the large amount of time and effort that someone spends on something. The examples. The project has been a success thanks to the dedication of all our staff. I admire his dedication to the job. Be patient and have fun. Watching movies and TV shows can make learning English enjoyable. Patience. It means able to wait calmly for a long time, or to accept difficulties, people's annoying behavior, etc., without becoming angry. The examples: You need patience and understanding if you're going to be a teacher. I'm going to lose patience with these people. Staying motivated can be a challenge, but setting realistic goals and tracking your progress can help. Goal. It means something that you hope to achieve in the future, an aim or purpose. The examples. I'll try to achieve my goal of losing five kilos before the summer. She had one goal in life: to be a good player in Hollywood. Progress. It means the process of developing or improving. The examples: 
I'm worried about my son's lack of progress in English. The country has made significant economic progress. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next lesson.